Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on compass surveying. Let us read the question. The following are the bearings taken on a close to compass traverse. Lines are given. For the lines, the fore bearing and back bearings are given. Compute the interior angles and correct them for observational errors. Assuming the observed bearing of line AB is correct. Adjust the bearing of other sides. The bearings are given in reduced bearing. Using the four bearings, we can draw the traverse. First, let us make the direction symbol. Let us keep this station as A. We know that in the compass rows, here we have north, here east, here south and here west. The four bearing of AB is between south and east. So between south and east, we have to make a line and then we have to draw the direction symbol. The four bearing of BC is given between south and west. So between south and west, we have to make a line and then the direction symbol. The four bearing of CD is given between north and west. So between north and west, we have to make a line and then the direction symbol. The four bearing of DE is given between north and east. So between north and east, we have to make a line and then the direction symbol. The four bearing of EA is given between north and east. So between north and east, we have to make a line and connect with the station A. Now let us center the four bearings in the traverse. Four bearing of AB, four bearing of BC, four bearing of CD, four bearing of DE and four bearing of EA. Now let us center the back bearings. Back bearing of AB, back bearing of BC, back bearing of CD, back bearing of DE and back bearing of EA. Also, we have to check whether our traverse is correct. For example, the back bearing of AB should be between north and west and it is between north and west. The back bearing of BC should be between north and east and it is between north and east. In the similar way, we have to check all of the back bearings. Now in the traverse, we are going to find the interior angles. To find the interior angle in the station A, we have to add these two angles. When we add, we will get 96 degree 30 minutes. Now let us find the interior angle in the station B. We know that this angle is 180 degree. 180 degree minus this angle and this angle, we will get the interior angle which is 99 degree 15 minutes. Now in the station C, let us find the interior angle. To find the interior angle, we have to add these two angles. When we add, we will get 117 degree 15 minutes. Now let us find the interior angle in the station D. We know that this angle is 180 degree, 180 degree minus this angle and minus this angle, we will get the interior angle which is 95 degree. Now in the station E, let us find the interior angle. We know this angle, only we have to find this angle. Totally it is 190, 190 degree minus 60 degree we will get this angle. So this angle is 190 degree minus 60. When we add this angle and this angle, we will get the interior angle in the station E. Now let us find the sum of the interior angles. For that we have to add these 5 angles. When we add, we will get 541 degree 15 minutes. Now let us find the theoretical sum of the angles. The formula is 2n minus 4 into 9t. Here there are 5 stations. 
So n is 5. When we calculate this, we will get 540 degree. So the error is 541 degree 15 minutes minus 540 degree. We will get 1 degree 15 minutes and we will get a positive value. So the correction should be negative. Let us find the correction for each station. There are 5 stations. So minus 1 degree 15 minutes upon 5. We will get minus 15 minutes. Now we have to subtract all of the angles by 15 minutes. When we do that, we will get these angles. We have found the corrected interior angles. In the question, it has been asked, assuming the observed bearing of line AB is correct, adjust the bearing of other sides. Let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the line and then let us enter bearings. Let us enter the bearing of AB and BA. Then let us enter the bearing of BC and CB. Then let us enter the bearing of CD and DC. Then let us enter the bearing of DE and ED. And finally, let us enter the bearing of EA and AE. Now in the table, let us make one more column. In the column, let us enter the corrected bearing. We know that the bearing of line AB is correct. So the bearings for AB and BA should be correct. Let us enter them in the corrected bearings. In the traverse, let us enter all of the corrected interior angles. We know that the bearings AB and BA are correct. Let us enter them also. Now we can start either from the station A or from the station B and we can find the corrected bearings. I am going to start from the station B and go towards this way and find the corrected bearings. Using these two angles, we can find the corrected bearing BC. We know that this is 180 degree, 180 degree minus 99 degree minus 37 degree 30 minutes. We will get this angle which is south 43 degree 30 minutes west. Let us enter that. Now using the four bearing BC, we can easily find the back bearing CB. Unlike the whole circle bearing method, in the reduced bearing method, the values of fore bearing and back bearing should be same, but only the directions will be different. For BC, we have got south 43 degree 30 minutes west. For CB also, the bearing will be 43 degree 30 minutes but the direction will be north east. Let us enter that. Now let us find the bearing of CD. For that we have to subtract this angle by this angle. When we do that we will get north 73 degree 30 minutes west. Let us enter that. We know that for CD and DC we will have the same bearing 73 degree 30 minutes but for DC the direction will be south east. Let us enter that. Now let us find the bearing of DE. We know that totally it is 180 degree. 180 degree minus this angle and this angle. We will get this angle which is north 11 degree 45 minutes east. Let us enter that. We know that for DE and ED, we will have the same bearing 11 degree 45 minutes. For ED, the direction will be south west. Let us enter that. Now we are going to find the bearing EA. We know that it is 190. 190 plus 11 degree 45 minutes we will get this angle but we need to find this angle so this angle minus 133 degree 
we will get the bearing of ea which is north 58 degree 45 minutes east let us enter that we know that the bearings for ea and ae will be same and it is 58 degree 45 minutes for ae the direction will be south west let us enter that now let us find the bearing for ab for that we have to subtract this angle by this angle when we do that we will get south 37 degree 30 minutes east already we know the bearing of ab 37 degree 30 minutes so this calculation can be used as a check since we have got the same value our previous calculations are correct these are the corrected bearings now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video